I get a lot of questions asked regarding shock leader knots. Now, to me, it's really important. I want a knot that's really strong, reliable, but more importantly, it's going to go through the runners nice and smooth on the cast. That's really important. So I'm just going to show you how I do it. It's really simple. Now, for a start, mainline-wise, for example, at the moment at Woodsboro Res, I'm using that 018 Shimano X-Age. It's absolutely fantastic. Really good knot strength. Mic'd up correctly as well, but it's really supple. Um, so that is my main line. So it's quite easy. So I'll show you what I do. First of all, I tie a figure of eight knot in my main line, in my real line. Double the line up, form a loop, around the back, and back through the loop. And as you can see, the figure of eight knots there. So I'm just going to pull that down and create a loop, like so, as you can see. Give it a wet and then pull it tight. Then, for the shock leader, there's only one shock leader line I use, and that is Shimano Technium. Eight pound, it's fantastic. It's a really, really abrasive line, very, very strong. So that means I can set a rod up and it can last me for two or three matches. I don't have a problem. I don't have to worry about having to change my shot leader every match. Now with the shot leader knot, what I'm going to be using, it me in the eye then, is um, a half blood knot. So all I do is I get my shot leader line through the loop of the real line like so, as you can see, and I form a loop with my finger, and all I'm going to do then is do one, two, three, four, five whips, and then I'm going to go back through the loop at the bottom, as you can see like that. Give the knot a nice good wet and just slowly wet it again. It's always best to just have plenty of moisture on your knot. And just slowly now I'm going to ease that knot down onto the loop of my real line. And then once it's nice and snug, give it one last tug. Make sure it's all in place and then give it a really good tug to make sure the knot's secure so there you have it so now all I need to do is trim it off it's very important this a lot of people leave tassels but I want to trim it right down so it minimizes the amount of friction that's caused as the knots go through the runner on the cast and what you find is it's a lot easier to cast and hit the target that you're fishing for but it makes very little noise and causes minimal resistance so that is the finished product as you can see it's very very neat but very very strong now I want a strong knot especially at venues let's say where I'm going at the moment I'm fishing for carp at distance I want a knot that I can rely upon as I'm bringing them back so give it a go you'll be very impressed with it, it works brilliant